92 oh, miles an hour at quarter oh, throttle. 60,000 RPM. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we got the Blackjack 42 on the freaking block. All right, we're out here at the speed run spot. I also have the go-getter. I'm actually extremely excited today. Uh, we're going to be running the boat on 8S. We're also going to be running it on 12s okay uh got a whole new setup in the boat 50 volts 50 volts 60 plus thousand rpm <laughs> when rc boat guys lose their mind take freaking 10. <laughs> let's freaking get it stick around big b with ironclad rc I'm excited you guys I'm super stoked about this I've never run an RC actually I've never driven a 12s anything so I'm like it's a first for me I'm pretty stoked uh, we're gonna run 8s in it first okay just fill out the motor check temps and all that good stuff and then we'll throw 12s in it um, I'm actually running a 400 amp flyer ESC this is a 400 amp flyer like 3 to 16s capable we're gonna run 12s on it uh the motor i just got it in it's a it's a 1400 kv tp power cm motor 4070 cm it's a special motor okay it's not a regular motor this motor will handle somewhere in the neighborhood of 80,000 rpm okay and it's a 1400 kv so i'm really i'm really pushing it on 12s but I'm gonna do like real quick bursts, short bursts. It's kind of a heavy boat. So I'm gonna actually prop it down for my first run and just fill it out. You know, hopefully the ESC is up to the task. I really hope it is. Um, so this speed control, it's opto. It does not have a BEC. So I had to come up with a way to power my receiver and my servo. I could have went with a BEC. An external BEC from Castle Creations or something, but they wanted like 50 bucks for a 12S capable um, BEC. So I actually just went the cheap route. I, I went to my local hobby shop, talked to Mr. Dan, and um, he he actually recommended a hump pack, but I went with this flat nickel metal uh, five cell pack. Okay, 2000 milliamp nickel metal. I went with this one over to hump pack. It's a little bit lighter and it actually works pretty good like in the boat right here. So what I did is I put a little piece of foam under this or in this inner skeletal and I actually took uh, a hot knife. I bent the end of a knife or a hobby knife, heated it up and I cut a little slit right here in my inner skeletal system. And um, it actually works really good for, for this external BEC, you know, so this is actually going to power my receiver and my servo. Now, you know, I, this is my first time running this Opto speed control with the external, uh, you know, receiver pack. So, um, I actually brought this little guy right here out. This is 7.4 volt uh, lithium ion. This is like the Jet Jam battery. I soldered a JST on it there. Okay. And uh, if if this don't last like two two sets of packs, then I'll just throw this in there. No big deal. But um, if you're um, when you're powering a receiver, I guess uh, I had to check the voltage on my receiver. It's like nine volt maximum, and this guy right here takes like nine volts. So we we're within the voltage with both sets of uh, receiver packs. Okay. Um, I'm running the 7600. HCL HP SMC packs 150C 4S and 4S. Okay, they're actually some like big boy packs. Uh, we will be running the speed running drag packs in here, the square packs, but um, I'm just filling the boat out today. Uh, these are uh, some just some cheap 6000 6S packs. Um, it's really the only two matching 6S packs I had to run 12S, and I usually run them singly, separately, you know. And uh, I, I really don't like running batteries separate and then throwing them on series, then run them separate, throw them on parallel, run them separate. I like to kind of, if I'm going to run a set of batteries par like series, I run them series. If I'm going to run them by themselves, I run them by themselves. But, I, 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 you know, they're my only matching pack, so I actually decided to run it. it one of them swollen, you know, so probably won't get but a few runs off of it. But uh, they're, the voltage is, is, 
I just checked it. Uh, it's perfectly matching voltage for both of them. Anytime you run series or parallel, the, the voltage needs to match, okay? Like, to a T. So this GPS has actually been giving me some issues here lately. I hope it holds a charge. I actually have a, a, a 1916 on here. It's actually my first time running a Flyer ESC, you know? And um, I've always wanted one. Uh, one of my viewers sent it to me and um, I was actually very surprised. Nice, wow. So this is 1400 KV, 8S. <laughs> I'm scared to put 12S on it, man. Like, it's really uncalled for, but <laughs> it's the only boat I have big enough that will actually handle 12S, you know? So, uh, oh, I'm excited, man. And, and if I crash at those, like, high speeds on 12, it's over. It's over with. The boat's over with, you know? Oh, man. That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. It's actually quick. This motor's got some torque. got some torque I think uh, if I was gonna run this motor on 8s I think I think that the, the castle creations Hydra would be a better choice you know for um, for 8s operation of course they don't have a 12 12s ESC out you know um, I don't have any so any way to program this you know I don't have the, the program cord or anything got a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a lag like in the in the throttle response I don't know if that's the um, the nickel metal pack I have or if it's like just the uh, the ESC programming and setup you know it's actually running pretty good Pretty much staying down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run the whole pack out. I was gonna bring it in and check temps, but uh, I think that 400 should be good. <laughs> This thing's gonna be sick on 12S. All right, let's 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 check the temps. That was about five decent passes there. Yeah, the, the, the ESC itself has actually got two, two cooling plates on it. Uh, one on each side of the ESC, which is awesome. Yeah, it, it seemed like it was handling pretty good. Um, it's a lower KV motor than what I've been running. That 1520 is the highest, you know, the regular motor. But uh, I've noticed uh, the CM motors, uh, you know, at, at about the same KV, <clears throat> the CM motors have a, a better, qu more quality uh, copper inside the motor. So KV for KV, the CM motor is actually going to be a... Uh, a little faster you know a little faster size and kv wise pretty excited to see the speed here like i said i didn't even get it up oh we got a little bit of a little bit of steam in there where's 
the GPS and we got some water in here. Got some water. 84. 84. Motor's a little bit warm. 129. Warmer than I was expecting. The ESC itself, <laughs> 94. 94. So the the motor's warm. And uh, I was hoping the motor wouldn't be that warm. It's got a 140 somewhere. So when I run it on 12S, I definitely just need to freaking do a pass and bring it back. You know, that's what we're going to do. I got some water in here and I uh, wonder where it's coming from. So 84 miles an hour is not too bad not too bad i was actually expecting a little bit more like i said you guys this battery right here weighs the exact same as this 6s battery believe it or not these hcl hp 150c 4s packs <laughs> so uh my 2000 milliamp six volt five cell pack it's uh it's already at six volts okay so i really don't want to take a chance in my boat dying out there so i'm actually going to run the 7.4 volt lithium ion pack for my receiver and servo and um, go ahead and get this guy right here G uh, GPS cleared out and we're gonna actually run 12s I got 6s and 6s they're pushed all the way forward so the CG should actually be the same as we had it last time with the batteries both the same weight okay so uh yep gonna get it cleared out get it all binded up here and uh, let's get it let's freaking get it 60,000 rpm <laughs> <laughs> let's freaking get it boys <laughs> oh man oh man 50 volts <laughs> oh shit i'm freaking scared oh man it's starting to be freaking crazy <laughs> oh <laughs> like i said i'm gonna do one run we're gonna bring it back okay we're just gonna do one run i want to check temps probably won't even open it all the, well i know i won't be able to open it all the way up there ain't no freaking way there ain't no way i can open it all the way up hell i was barely getting full trigger on it on 8s and uh oh man we'll see we'll see is the is the tide still standing still yeah it's tide standing still all right i'm gonna let these ripples cool down a little bit here Yeah, we're just gonna do one pass. Let's go, let's go. Damn, son, she about jumped out of freaking water. Man, my heart was pounding. That was like, that was like half trigger, not even half trigger. I wanna run it again, but we need to check that temp. Let's check the temp. 50 volts. I put the 18, 16, the 45 millimeter prop on. I took the 48 millimeter prop off. So I think my attempts were hot with that other prop because I modified that prop and I uh, probably should have run the, the stock 1916 opposed to the modified on my first run there. But now I know, now I know. Oh, let's see what she did here. A little speed check and temperature check. Like I said, I barely got it at I barely hit half throttle with it. Barely. A little over quarter. A little over quarter throttle. I think that was probably 80 right there. Quarter throttle. <laughs> that was probably 80 right there. Maybe even 85 at quarter throttle. Jeez. I, I'm like shaking, boys. I'm shaking, y'all. I'm shaking. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to put twins in this boat at one point, but I, I was like, screw it. Let's just do single motor, 12S. No smoke. Yes, no freaking smoke. Oh, the GPS cleared out. No way. Oh, 92. 92 mile an hour, boys, at quarter throttle. <laughs> Come on. 92 knots and no freaking smoke. Boy. 106 on that one run. 96 degrees. 117 it likes it it freaking likes it the esc 99 86 
oh yeah oh yeah we're gonna do it again we're gonna do it again all right so uh i'm gonna clear out the gps and taper back up recording stop record okay i'm just gonna tape right back up everything looked good just wanted to be safe 50 volts 50 volts let's go let's freaking go oh, tide still tide starting to come in a little bit man that was pretty awesome 92 baby i'm gonna let these ripples cool down might be my last well probably do two more passes if she stays down yeah this is an all new tune you know all new tune hell it's a new haul this is only my third run out with this haul you know uh third run out i still have that 1520 kv motor and um i was thinking about putting it in the dominator once i'm done with my ovals all right here we go started to come up Quarter throttle. <laughs> Quarter throttle. She started to come up, so I actually uh, probably uh, my CG's forward. I could probably go down just a smidge with that trim tab, just a smidge. Here we go. Here we go. I could have gave it all the beans right there. I kind of did a full trigger blip for a second there oh I could have done it I could have given it all the beans and uh, these aren't like high performance batteries these are just cheap RC LiPo batteries I may actually invest in some SMC matching 6S packs you know maybe uh, I have to look I think the 7600 HCL HP success may fit in here. They're kind of a, a short fat pack, so I would actually be able to get my CG even farther up in the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a pass in before this kayaker gets here. Full trigger, full trigger, full trigger for a second, man. She was floating too. She was absolutely floating. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty. All right, let's bring her back. Let's bring her back. Don't want to go crazy with it. Burn nothing up. First outing. That was insane. Pretty boat, pretty boat. <laughs> he was my witness on that 92 mile an hour, right? <laughs> he was my witness, you guys. Man, that was pretty. That 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 second run right there was nice. Come on, come on, no smoke, no smoke, baby, no smoke. Yeah, yeah. No smoke. I think it looked pretty cool. Oh man. Oh, did you get that on that run? Not on the 92. Oh, oh, oh. Just walked up there now. Oh man. Oh, that looks good. Here we go. 107 is my PB with this thing. Let's see if we got close. I think you at least 95. 90, 95, 97. 92 again. 92 oh, yeah. again. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Heck yeah. 92 again. So I'm thinking if we can get it at full trigger with a fresh battery in there, we got 100. Got water in there? Just a little bit. Lord, I can't it's fresh. Know. It feels like it's, like, I guess it's high tide, so it's a lot of fresh water. I think it's coming in right here, right there around that seal. Yep. I gotta, I gotta get some adhesive on there. Yep. Yep. 
92, baby, on 12S. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to push it to its limits, boys, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's check the temp after those few runs. Okay, 155, so she's a little warm. So it's a, it's, it's a one-hitter quitter motor on 12S. 155. ESC actually got warm on that one, 114. But she's within operating temperature. <laughs> I, I would say it was a success you guys my first run on 12s it was a freaking success next time next time i'm not gonna do back-to-back -back runs it's gonna be one hitter quitter stuff like on uh on 12s <laughs> oh man i'm freaking stoked boys oh man so uh yeah we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching big b we're ironclad rc